The information ahead is based on Ground Branch version 10.32 and data meant for real-world usage reflected by the game. The Trijicon TA-31 RCO Advanced Combat Optic Gun Sight, also known as the M150 or simply ACOG, is a tried and true to gun sight used by the US military, NATO forces, and police forces worldwide since the 90s. Firstly, while we inspect the general features of this optic, we can see that this version of the TA-31 has the ability to mount a flat-mounted RMR red dot sight for close-range use. I will be placing this optic fully to the rear of this M16A4 for optimal eye relief and demonstration, which I will show and explain later. The M193 BDC reticle featured on the TA-31 optic and ground branch has much more practicality than what a beginner may assume due to the game's use of bullet drop and the optic's realistic representation. The bullet drop calculations, or BDCs, are based on an assumed usage of M855A1 5.56 by 45 millimeter ammunition fired from either a 20 inch or 14.5 inch barreled rifle. In game, this will include the M16A4, the HK416 Delta, and both the M4A1 SOT mod and Block 2 variants. Now onto the reticle. From the top, we have the red primary chevron. This portion of the reticle is what the operator will use for most general engagements between 50 and 200 meters. Below that, we have the reticle post. This post has several features to help the operator use this optic at further ranges between 300 and 800 meters. You'll also notice that the post is segmented by horizontal markings. These markings not only help the operator calculate the bullet drop distance, but they also assist the operator in finding out the range of their target by using the width of the horizontal lines to measure the width of a man-sized target's shoulders. For example, if an enemy combatant's shoulders fit exactly within that horizontal line marked with the four, that will roughly determine that the target is at a distance of 400 meters. Allow me to demonstrate. First, we have a target at 100 meters. For this target, we will use the very apex or tip of the chevron for our aiming point to not only place a hit center mass of the target, but we can use it to accurately place a headshot at this distance as well. Next, we have a 200 meter target. If I were to use the top apex of the chevron for the point of aim on center mass of the target, I may hit low or even miss. To compensate for this, I will aim the apex at the head of the target to get a center mass hit. Now we have a 300 meter target. For this target, we will simply use the tip of the red post beneath the chevron to produce an accurate hit. Let's go reel back to a 25 meter target. Normally this distance is what the operator would use to battle zero their optic. We don't have to worry about zeroing this optic. However, this demonstrates that the tip of the red post is effective for aiming at targets of roughly 25 meters as well. Ground Branch is a game that primarily focuses on close quarters combat, so knowing this optic can be used up close and personal can be beneficial if you have a target through a small hole or obstacle where accuracy might matter most. This will conclude the demonstration of the TA-31 ACOG and Ground Branch. If you have any information that you believe I missed, feel free to comment below. I hope this information will be useful to you while you play Ground Branch. Please stick around for more informational videos on the use of optics and other functions featured in Ground Branch, as I will continue to demonstrate how these are very accurately represented in-game. Thank you for watching, Booster.